Let's begin with a prayer of illumination. Let's pray. O oh God, as your scriptures are read, we will listen for your voice. Prepare our minds to hear your word. Move our hearts to embrace what we hear. This we pray through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Last week, we heard the story of Ruth. And this week, we will hear the story of her great-grandson, David, becoming king of Israel and bringing the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. This story brought to mind the Evensong service I attended at Westminster Abbey this summer. As I sat there listening to the incredibly beautiful voices of the choir filling that incredible space, I thought about the many kings and queens who had been crowned in that very place. In our story today, David makes a covenant with his people, a bit like the way the then Princess Elizabeth made promises to God and her people at her coronation. Our readings are found in the book of 2 Samuel. The first is from chapter 5, verses 1 to 5, and the second from chapter 6, also verses 1 to 5. These can be found beginning on page 243 of your Red Pew Bible, if you want to follow along. I'm reading from the New International Version. Following this, we're going to read Psalm 150, which is printed in your calendar, so you might want to just have that ready. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. David becomes king over Israel. All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, we are your own flesh and blood. In the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel on their military campaigns. And the Lord said to you, you will shepherd my people Israel and you will become their ruler. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, the king made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah 33 years. And now going to chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. The ark brought to Jerusalem. David again brought together all the able young men of Israel, 30,000. He and all his men, men went to Bala in Judah to bring up from there the ark of God, which is called by the name, the name of the Lord Almighty, who is enthroned between the cherubim on the ark. They set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it from the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill. Uzzah and Ahio, sons of Abinadab, were guiding the new cart with the ark of God on it, and Ahio was walking in front of it. David and all Israel were celebrating with all their might before the Lord, with castanets, harps, lyres, timbrels, sistrums, and cymbals. In response to our scripture reading, please join me in reading Psalm 150, which is printed in your calendar. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him. 